Are you a spiritual person? I am. I ask because uh, those of you who won't be able to see this, but you have two crosses on. You mm-hmm. have an earring. You also have um, mm-hmm. your chain. And the way you speak about compassion, mm-hmm. it kind of informs that. Yeah. Talk about that if you can. Absolutely. About the, the importance of, of carrying that spiritual aspect with you. Um, because I think that informs your decisions on how you play Mark or maybe some of the other projects you absolutely, take. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I mean, I... I appreciate absolutely everybody and and whatever it is that they believe and i i am a god-fearing man and i i you know i love jesus i believe that god is love i believe that you know as somebody that is made in his image is i'm i am meant i am on this earth to love that that is fully what i've i've believed that since i was a child i was you know kind of raised with that mindset especially to accept especially being in the theater community in the southeast in birmingham alabama mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, like I went to church yeah. on Sundays and left church at 12.30 p.m. And then I went to rehearse for whatever I was working on with my theater organization that I grew up in. I mean, just immersed in a totally different kind of culture. And those worlds wouldn't necessarily blend then when I was a kid in mm-hmm. Birmingham. M- maybe much more now. Um yeah, I was talking to somebody. I was I I I don't go out. I'm a bit of an old man. I don't go out. <laughs> Why at not? All, You're ever. at the age where you should. I know. I, I don't feel my age, and my, <laughs> I think it's just because I've been doing this for 15 years. And like, by it's, I'm already feeling it. You know what I mean? Um, Full disclosure to our listeners: You're 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. to yeah. say like this idea. I know. I know. I, I've been, and like, you should go out. I know. It's funny. Like to me, a, a perfect go out is come over to the house. Let me cook. I'm going to pour a whiskey, got some great okay. whiskey, some good wine. We're going to listen to music. We're going to play Quiplash on Jackbox. <laughs> we're going to, you know, I'll smack you in Super Smash Brothers. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have a great, like, that is my go out. That like, let like me have my night. dog, my family, some friends. Like, that's my, that's my go out. But I was, I was there last night, uh, a couple of nights ago. I was at a, I was at a party in, in LA, like Beverly Hills, like the creator of Minecraft's $70 million mansion. <laughs> I'm like, why am I here? I was there because I had some friends in town that I never get to see mm. and they were all going and, and, um, you know, they're, they're really chill and it was a, just a really good time and I needed it. I needed a moment to kind of let my hair down cause I've been working like a maniac lately. And, and I was talking to, um, a buddy of mine brought his friend from New York who's a pastor oh, nice. and he was like, you know, I don't tell people I'm a pastor. I don't tell people I'm a pastor because I'm not here to shove Jesus down anybody's throat. And he's like, I'm here to love people. And I was like, my God, you're my, you're, mm-hmm. you're one of my people. Here we, here we go. <laughs> I was meant to see you today. People ask me constantly and especially in my industry, how are you a ha- Like, why are you so happy? Why? And I say, because I get my joy from somewhere else. I don't like, that's, it just is mm-hmm. what it is for me. If you want to talk about it, I'm more than happy to talk to you about it. But again, we were talking about that and he, he was like, this is where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be in, any everyday scenario talking to absolutely anybody loving people um you know witnessing and however we can if it's going to help somebody if it's going to you know you know just just to be a vessel right Mm -hmm. that's my thing that is my that is my whole mission while i have breath in my lungs is to just care about humans and love humans so do you operate thinking that it was God's plan for you to have this role and for you to, to be a part of the show. I, I think that absolutely everything is, is, is laid out to a certain extent. It's up to me to, to trust my gut mm-hmm. uh, on certain things and, and make whatever decision feels right for me in that moment. And I think that I, I, I live with the belief that, you know, he takes care of his people and he loves, he loves everybody here. And I'm just one of those people and I'm not that insanely special. And, <laughs> and, uh, and then he's, he's given me an incredible, an incredible gift of, of, you know, creating and entertaining. Mm-hmm. And I do my best to take advantage of that and perpetuate, you know, how I, how I view life and humans and, um, you know, through the means of music or film or TV or Broadway or, mm-hmm. or you know, esports and branding and marketing <laughs> and all of those things like you know just as long as i can be be around people and be somebody that is warm and and mm-hmm. um somebody that you know you can feel comfortable chatting with like that's 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 my mission that's how yeah. i witness 